and welcome to Econ 202, Principles of Macroeconomics. I'm Dr. David Chandler Thomas, your professor. You can call me Dr. Thomas. And uh, what I'd like to do today is give you a short review of the syllabus to help you be prepared for the semester to know what to expect and how to get a good grade. So a few things before we start. The first is that some of you may have looked me up on ratemyprofessors.com before you signed up for this class. If you did, you'll find one common theme. And that theme is if you don't go to class, you don't pass. It seems like that wouldn't be a problem this semester because this class is completely online. But uh, in fact, it is a problem if you don't watch my lecture videos. Most of the questions on the tests and quizzes will come from these lectures. You must watch these lectures and take notes if you want to get a good grade in the class. That doesn't mean you don't have to read the textbook and do the homework assignments. That's another package that's part of this deal. So let's take a look at the syllabus. So what we'll do now is we'll go through the various parts of the syllabus or explain what you need to know. At the top of the first page of the syllabus, you'll find my contact information. You'll notice that there is a phone number there. Don't call that phone number because I'm not in the office and so I won't hear it ring. However, you can email me at the email address that's shown. The virtual office hours are also listed at the top of the page. And uh, if you click on that link, they will take you to my office hours as well. My office hours are Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So 9 to 10 a.m. and 4 to 5 p.m. This means that unless I have something critical, like a doctor's appointment, if you click on that link, you'll be able to enter into my virtual office and we could talk face to face. This class requires a textbook. The textbook is online and I recommend you get it that way. You can order a hard copy, but it's so much better if you use it online with the homework because then it's there when you need it as you're doing the homework. This is uh, Greg Mancuse text. Um, I'm trying to follow the textbook that's version eight. Uh, there is a new version nine out. Uh, they're both very similar, so I really don't care which one you get. There's a package you can purchase from the bookstore that includes both the homework assignments and the textbook, and that's the best way to get it. Each week, there will be one to two sets of homework assignments. Each homework assignment has about six to eight questions, and the questions come from the textbook. You have the textbook available to you, so you can look the questions up while you're doing the homework. You will have three tries for each question, and I'm going to take your highest score. This means you should be able to do very well. Don't make the mistake of thinking, I'll just take the quiz quickly to see how well I do and then not read the chapter. You won't do well and you will lose one of your chances. It's best to read the chapter first. Have the book in front of you. It's also better if you listen to my lectures first, since I go over much of the material. The homework assignments are due uh, Sunday night at midnight every week. Uh, so you have an entire week to work on them. And I highly recommend you don't wait until 11 p.m. on Sunday night, because you might run out of time and then you won't be able to complete the assignment. Each homework assignment is worth 2% of your grade. That doesn't sound like a lot, but if you miss more than two or three of these, you're gonna find that it will drop you down quite a bit. There are more than 20 homework assignments, and I'm only gonna count 20 of them. So I may drop between one and three assignments, depending on the total number that you have to take. I'll pick the 20 highest. In terms of grading, there will be four things that you're graded. The first are the homework assignments. So 20 assignments worth two each, 40% of your grade. That's a lot. Then there'll be a midterm exam. The midterm exam will take place after we have studied chapter 12 out of the 23 chapters. The midterm exam will count as 20% of your grade and it will consist of 40 true, false, multiple choice and matching questions, each question worth one half a point. Next, each week after you've watched the video, you'll have a chance to take a short quiz. Those quizzes will be worth a total of 10 points. So there will be 15 quizzes, and I will choose points from the 10 best scores. Finally, there will be a comprehensive exam at the end of the semester. That exam will consist of 40 questions. Again, multiple choice, true, false, and matching, some combination. Of, but in addition to that, you'll have 10 short answers. So questions that can be answered with a single sentence, or maybe two, and one essay question. That essay question normally has to be written and you have a time constraint. This semester, I'm thinking about the possibility of allowing you to do that as an oral question using your iPhone or your Android phone to record your answer. I'll let you know which way we're gonna go later in the semester. All right, so let's look at the next section of the syllabus. In this portion of the syllabus, I give you instructions about grading. And the first part of it explains that I'm not gonna change people's grades uh, during the semester to help them get a better grade. The only time I will make a change is if you find an error on the grading of a paper or exam uh, and report it within 24 hours. So if you're concerned, don't wait a few days and then look 
because I will have already posted the grade and it'll be too late for me to change it. If you find a mistake, report it to me quickly so I can correct it. Otherwise, do not attempt to contact me and to plead for a higher grade. I can't give you a higher grade. Everyone has to be held to the same standard and it would only be fair if I do that. If you do find a mistake on the exam, I will make that correction for everybody in the class as well. Now, my scoring is based on the fact that Ball State does not allow us to give you A pluses. So an A begins at 92%. And, um, and so the grades are A plus and A minus, B plus, B minus, C plus, C. But you will notice no C minus, no D plus, no D minus, no F plus. I believe that once you get below a C, which is the average, uh, that you don't deserve minuses and pluses. Y your grade will drop an entire grade each time it drops. The objective of this class is listed. It, it will be, so it'll be up to you to make sure that you don't miss any of the lectures that are online. If you miss one of the lectures and the lecture has disappeared from the Canvas site, you'll have to get notes from another student if you want to be able to get that information. Attendance will be determined by the completion of the lecture quizzes. I don't give uh, opportunities normally for any makeup uh, exams, one exception, but certainly not for quizzes. And, uh, and so if you miss a quiz before it disappears, um, you, you will not have the opportunity to make that up. If you miss one of the two big exams and you have an unexcused absence, in other words, you can't explain why you didn't take that, that exam during that time frame then your grade will stand as it is, which is a zero. If on the other hand, something happens, a death in the family, something significant, and you provide me documentation, then I will make an exception. However, the exam you receive will not normally be the same exam the other students had, but instead will be an oral exam or a written exam where you'll be given several questions you have to answer um, with an essay. I will be communicating with the class through announcements, so make sure your email is correct and watch for my emails because when I send an email, it's important. I'm not going to bombard you with just chat. Everything that I send will be something you need to know. Please do not email me with questions that are going to require a long and complicated answer. I do not like to send those kinds of emails. And so what I would prefer is you come to my virtual office hours and we can discuss it. The next part of the syllabus are the required uh, paragraphs that the university has given me to include in the syllabus. This has to do with the honor code. In other words, not cheating and not plagiarizing. Plagiarizing is one of the great cardinal sins of academia. So do your own work. You will be caught eventually if you keep doing it. And, uh, and then there's information about those who have disabilities and those uh, and the efforts of the university to have greater diversity. So the next two slides that I'm showing you are the, the breakdown of the assignments. And what you'll see is that each week there is a start date. So the first one would be the week of August 24th, the first day of that week. You'll notice that there is a online lectures that says introduction to macroeconomics. If you go to the assignment section on Canvas, you will see the playlist listed and they'll have these names. So introduction to macroeconomics, you click on that, you'll see the videos from week one and you can click on each of the videos. I try to make these videos interesting. I try to make them short. Uh, I don't ramble. And I include graphics that come up on the screen. So while you're watching the video, if something comes up, text comes up, that's something you want to write down. That's something that will probably be on the exam and you need to know. Below that, you will see the reading and the homework. So what you'll see is that uh, you're, you're supposed to read chapters one and two, and do the homework assignments one and two that go with it. You must get those done that week. The midterm online exam will be given the week of October 6th. There will be four days, the 6th, the 7th, the 8th, and the 9th, that the exam will be up, and uh, you will have to start it during that time period. Once you start the exam, you'll have 90 minutes to complete it, and then it will go away, and it will be graded. So you want to make sure you're ready before you take that exam. I like to give um, a, a virtual prep hour on Zoom before the exam, and you can come or not, it's up to you. But during that time, I'll have the exam in my hands, and I'll kind of go through the concepts and things that are on the exam. And finally, the second half of the semester, here I go through the same kinds of things um, for each of the classes. Now, when we get down to November 25th to 29th, 
we will be having Thanksgiving and uh, I won't be reachable during that time. You will be leaving campus for Thanksgiving break and not coming back. So if you have some in-class classes, those will all be online after Thanksgiving. My class will continue as it was before with the last few assignments. And then there will be a final exam that will be online. And again, you'll have the 15th, 16th, 17th, and 18th, during which time you can take the exam. Once you start the exam, you have to complete it. They will be open book, but my questions are not questions you can just look up in a book. They're questions that can only be answered if you comprehend the economics. If you have any questions about the syllabus, this is also posted in the discussion section on Canvas, and you can go in there and you can ask questions and post questions, and I'll be happy to answer them. Or you can email me, either way. And I'm very excited to have you uh, students this semester. During the summer, I had a class with 18 students, nine of which were in China and nine of which were in the US. The students did very well. Um, I think I had one student who dropped out because couldn't keep up with the homework. All of the other students received Bs and As in the class because they worked very hard. There's no reason why each one of you can't get a good grade in this class if you do the work. And I promise you, you'll learn some economics and it'll be very valuable in your life. So welcome to the class and let's have a great semester. Thank you.